Did you know that Title IX is turning 50 years old this summer? Did you know that coaches and student athletes at Washington State University played a key role in helping women play college sports across the entire country? Blair Durant, Edgar St. Holtz, Washburn. They all blazed the path. I never would have dreamed there would be the high quality of women's interclusion athletic programs that we see today. And they were just like me at one time. I love to play. I can run fast and jump high. It makes me feel strong. Look at her. I'm pleased that Cammie's testifying here today as part of the esteemed panel. Go Cougs. She is strong, she is confident, she handles both victory and defeat. Athletics have helped give her strength by being part of a team. There are many others like me that look at her to inspire the next generation. The Washington State community is committed to providing women with the opportunity to compete and elevate our nine sports programs. From the classroom to the field, court, pool, and track, into the community. Because of her, I want to compete too. Together, they are empowering future generations of Cougs. Together, we will achieve what was once defined as impossible. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you direct your attention to center court where Washington State WSU Pullman Chancellor Elizabeth Chilton, Athletic Director Pat Chun, Deputy Athletic Director Ann McCoy, and Faculty Athletics Representative Nancy Swanner are celebrating the 50th anniversary of Title IX with its Power of Nine campaign. In 1972, Title IX, the federal legislation prohibiting sex discrimination in education, was signed into law. Yet real change did not occur for nearly a decade. And in the state of Washington, specifically here at Washington State University, that was a direct result of the efforts of tonight's honorees. Karen Blair, Jeannie Eggert, Sue Durant, Marcia Sainholtz and Joe Washburn were all key figures in the fight for equal opportunity for women's athletic programs. Our first honoree is Karen Blair, a cross-country and track and field athlete at WSU from 1976 to 1980. Blair was named plaintiff in the trailblazing lawsuit, Blair versus Washington State University in 1979, which paved the way for equality between men's and women's athletic programs. While not alone, her name represented change, opportunity, and promise for the many young women in Washington who would come to benefit from her courageous stand. Ladies and gentlemen, Karen Blair. One of Blair's peers while at WSU was Jeannie Eggert, a two-sport phenom in basketball and track. Eggert was one of the most recognizable female student athletes in the Pacific Northwest, a role model to many while setting programs or records in both sports. She herself was blazing new paths, being the first woman in school history to receive an athletic scholarship courtesy of WSU men's basketball head coach George Raveling and the Cougar basketball program. Eggert's scholarship was the first of many to follow as she etched herself into Cougar lore. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeannie Eggert. Eggert's basketball coach while in Pullman was Sue Durant, who was a coach, instructor, and administrator at Washington State from 1962 through her retirement in 2005. Her greatest contribution to Washington State may have come with her work in Blair versus Washington State University, where she, along with others, championed the efforts of women's rights in collegiate athletics, resulting in foundational changes in how universities support women's athletic programs. Durant's bravery has led to opportunity and equality for so many and continues to this day. Ladies and gentlemen, Sue Durant.
Working alongside Durant was Marcia St. Holtz, a national leader in the fight for gender equality throughout her tenure at Washington State. She played a leading role on WSU's administrative team that instituted change within the department, merging separate men's and women's programs into one while championing women's opportunities. St. Holtz's efforts have been recognized on campus and nationally with the WSU Woman of Distinction and Lifetime Achievement Awards while also receiving the Pathfinder Award from the National Association of Girls and Women in Sports. To this day, Marsha's impact on women in sports is profoundly felt, and it happens to be her birthday today. So happy birthday, Marsha St. Holtz, and thank you. Another of those leading voices for female student athletes was Joe Washburn, who passed away in 2020. Washburn presided over women's athletics from 1965 to 1982, and during that time, women's athletics grew to 12 teams, while funding for those programs rose from a mere $2,000 to more than a million dollars. During Washburn's tenure, WSU was a charter member of the Association for Intercollegiate Athletics for Women and has since transitioned to NCAA membership. Washburn's leadership throughout cannot be understated, and to receive her award is longtime friend and peer, Sue Durant. Go Cougs! To our Cougar legends, we stand on the shoulders of giants. Your legacy is really a part of it, is standing behind you. And our duty going forward is to ensure that the work you guys did throughout your entire careers, we will continue to live it out. You see the glory of Washington State Athletics behind you. Go Cougs. Thank you. Well, my first boss when I came to WSU in 1979 was Joe Washburn. And Unfortunately, she passed away two years ago, but she once shared that in the 1960s, uh, she received $1,200 to cover the expenses for all six female athletic programs at that time. So while we have come a long way from where we once were, we still have a long way to go. We believe that if we continue to share the stories of past perseverance while celebrating the milestones of present, Cougar Nation will step up to lead the next wave of support. PISA Credit Union has been an incredible champion for our student athletes and we are grateful for their involvement in the Power of Nine campaign. We're proud to support the Power of Nine campaign and provide opportunities for the next generation of female student athletes. PISA Credit Union is excited to team up with the Cougar Athletic Fund to provide a $25,000 matching gift to the Power of Nine Excellence Fund as our promise to help grow resources for the nine female teams at WSU. We look forward to you joining us in this campaign to honor the past, celebrate the present, and support the future. Thank you, Gisa, for your generous donation to the advancement of female student athletes at WSU. Go Cougs!